cryptocurrency that can host data and compute on chain versus those which cannot and does it matter what is web 3 web 3 also known as web 3.0 is a term that describes the next phase of internet development it's intended to be a decentralized version of the internet that gives users more control over their data and online experience web 3 is built on blockchain technology which is part of dlt which is distributed ledger technology and is supported by three main technologies blockchain a shared decentralized ledger that records transactions smart contracts software programs that automatically execute when certain conditions are met cryptocurrencies like bitcoin or or Ethereum or internet computer, which operate in the Web3 space. DLT or distributed ledger technology, of which blockchain belongs to, distributed ledger technology is a database that's shared and duplicated across a network of computers in different locations. It's decentralized, peer-to-peer -peer digital system that uses cryptography and consensus mechanisms to allow participants to share an immutable replica of the same ledger. Another take on it, which only varies slightly, is that a distributed ledger technology or DLT like blockchain are a secure way of conducting and recording transfers of digital assets without the need for a central authority. DLT is distributed because multiple participants in a computer network, individuals, businesses, etc., share and synchronize copies of the ledger. While I do think that it makes some sense logically that not everything has to be hosted on chain per se. For instance, if you have a DAP that's a video game, there's going to be models and textures and possibly cutscenes and other types of data which really isn't critical. Yes, you need it in order for the game to run, but that's not really the critical data. The critical data would be like the player database information. Like, have you leveled up? What kind of gear do you have? Are, is any of that gear tied to an NFT? Is that NFT secured? That kind of stuff is much more sensitive than the models and textures that actually are part of the back end of the game itself. That said, one of the issues that I I have with this line of thinking is, as we just reviewed, Web3 is supposed to be about decentralization. So if a lot of your compute and data storage is just being offloaded to older technologies on centralized services like Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud, Microsoft Azure, DigitalOcean, Vulture, etc., then all you really have on chain potentially is a token or a coin and a ledger. And then I have to ask myself, what is the point of the crypto then, really? What value is the crypto actually bringing at that point? And more than that, a lot of cryptocurrency projects, they love to throw around buzzwords like Web3 and decentralization, while simultaneously not actually pushing decentralization, which is a core concept of Web3. Just as some quick examples, get your Web3 ideas to market fast with economics that work for you. Web3 aggregated. Want to explore a Web3 on-ramp solution? Fully decentralized and transparent governing body of independent global organizations consisting of enterprises, Web3 projects, and prestigious universities. Making secure Web3 gaming and social finally possible. It only made sense to build their decentralized live data access platform via the interchain ecosystem. Explore the future of Web3 finance built on Injective, which is built on AWS. Immerse yourself in an uncharted world of Web3 gaming. Web3 powered by subgraphs. Build Web3 on BNB chain. Discover Web3 open source. Take advantage of all Web3 has to offer. For me, I just really struggle with understanding the purpose and the real value behind a cryptocurrency if all it's really going to do is have a ledger and a token on chain and then just take all their NFTs and host it off chain. Take all of their application data and host it off chain. Take all of the computation needs for their applications 
applications and just leverage off-chain computation. At that point, why are you using a cryptocurrency? Really about the only thing that comes to mind for me is that you're looking to ride the current trend and get in while the getting's good, grab as much money as you can, and get out laughing all the way to the bank. Let me ask you this. How do you feel about people that try their best to deceive you, who in some cases just outright lie to you? Is your first instinct to reach into your pocket, grab your wallet, and give them all of your money? Because I'm not a full stack developer or a developer at all, and there are still things about crypto that I am not yet familiar with, there may in fact be some very legitimate use cases for leveraging cryptocurrency, even though a large part of the the project isn't even on chain. That said, as far as the value of decentralization, which is a core concept of Web3, and it's supposed to be a core concept of DLT, all you got to look at is what happened July 19th, 2024. CrowdStrike had a big problem, which in turn caused 911 services to go down, airplanes to be grounded, hospitals to have equipment and services not working, businesses unable to transact business. Why? Well, because so many people were dependent upon a single point of failure, a centralized service known as CrowdStrike. CrowdStrike had a serious problem, which in turn created serious problems for millions upon millions of people. If your cryptocurrency is highly dependent on centralized services, such as Amazon Web Services as one example, if a large chunk of your nodes or validators are in fact, on Amazon Web Services, if your data, if your computation is in fact on Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud, Microsoft Azure, DigitalOcean, Vulture, Linode, anything like that, then you are working really hard to do the exact opposite of what the spirit of Web3 is supposed to be, which is decentralization. One of the things that I would really love to see are cryptocurrency projects being open, upfront, honest, and transparent about what they're doing and to make it very clear what the actual value they are bringing to the industry actually is rather than all this hype and speculation and buzz and just this really snake oil salesman type of attitude and behavior that in my opinion is typically the norm of what we see in the cryptocurrency industry.